Hey everybody, good to see you today. We're in downtown Minneapolis for the Minnesota Timberwolves. It's a national game, so we're going to be live on ABC. Hopefully I can finagle my way into national camera spotlight with uh, Research Flat Earth sign. Not a lot of people know that when I was at the X Games at the U.S. Bank Stadium, I was able to get on ESPN2 and get on national TV, so that's a little secret, little Easter egg for you. So we're right in front of the Target Center. We had to come across the street because the Target Center pit bosses were pushing other people around, so I kind of figured that they'd push us around. So we're just going to play it safe, be at the corner here. Got plenty of traffic. I mean, look at these guys here. They're all coming here. So now we got Wesley Stace from Flat Earth News Talk. He's coming to join us. Don't forget to get a shot of First Ave. Oh, yeah. So we got First Ave here, too. Classic First Ave. Purple Rain, Prince, yada, yada, yada. Big, big time concert area here in the 80s for sure and haven't ever actually been there before so what do you want from me I went to school so you went to school at Prince okay right on yeah so there's first Ave so the, that's the iconic first Ave and uh, here's the Minneapolis skyline for you we're about 35 minutes to tip off at the moment so we're definitely gonna get some patrons coming in and out and right now I got full bars, so we'll see how it goes inside the arena in terms of continuing a live stream. Otherwise, I got plenty of memory in the camera to film and intimidate the fake, fo the fake basketball watchers. So I'm going to hand over the keys to Wesley. He's going to be my cameraman today. So if you see right here, just press that. That'll take it off a selfie. Yep, that'll go. take it off a selfie. So. All right, sweet. So we got our classic uh, research flat earth because it's not a ball like we're taught. You guys are getting brainwashed in school, bud. Research flat earth, okay. And uh, how do you know you're living on a sphere because it's not a ball. It's a flat motionless plane. Got some visuals for everybody because... We've got sheep out here, they need to see pictures. And we got the controversial AE map. So that's our ammunition here today. So I'll just put it on my lanyard. And uh, I also wanted to give you guys an update too on, on the card that I hand out. This was uh, from Project Eli. She helped me out sent these to me last year. That's all the information that those kids got at the state capitol on Friday. So hopefully that's gonna wake some kids up. So I got about 25 of these to hand. What's up? No, we're not selling tickets, man. Just let me know when it stops. It did stop, so you can repeat what you said. <laughs> Just the part about the... Uh... Oh yeah, so, what's that? Yeah. Why? I didn't ask. Uh, it doesn't matter. We're on public property, you man. Do that. Yeah, you, you can. Get familiar no, with the laws. It, it wasn't live, man. Don't worry. Have a good You're day, good. Bud. Yep. You're good. Sit and spin, bud. Nice finger. I'll do it again. I'll break it. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just going to hang out for, I don't know, probably an hour or so. Around, around halftime. I'd like to go inside and get the halftime show on camera. But, uh... We'll just wait for people to come by. And everybody, let me know if you can hear everything good. If you can hear them come through. And How you doing, man? All right, yeah, look it up. It is pretty flat, yeah. can actually uh, give you a heads up, man, and then just uh, put it right in the right direction. Uh, yeah. Have a good one. Hey, kids, research flat earth when you get to school tomorrow, okay? 
It's not a ball. You guys hear me okay over here? Right on. Good to see the chat. <laughs> we, we tried to uh, connect to Wesley's phone, but... Not getting know, the signal. Wasn't happening, so... I was going to hold the chat in my hand so I could talk to you guys, but... Once I got some downtime, I'll come come and say hi. Right. I want to get... Research flatter, okay, when you get home tonight. It's a nice cold day. Good flatter documentary won't hurt you. Two hours to wake up from the lies. How you guys doing? Enjoy the game tonight. Hopefully they don't get blown out like the Boston game, huh? Right? Too bad the NBA is the biggest ranked sport in professional sporting. If you have an opportunity, I encourage you to research flat earth when you get home, okay? You don't live on a ball like we're taught in school. You've been lied to massively. Yeah, it's funny until you look it up. Prove me wrong, bud. <laughs> I'm waiting if we're going to get in trouble for showing people's faces as they go Oh, by. yeah, right? So I'm kind of like trying to move it around. Take a picture of Big Brother's right there. Yeah, 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 he's right there. So, Big old camera. Hey, when you get home tonight after the game, research Flat Earth. Just type in Flat Earth documentaries. Flat Earth Clues. Flat Earth Clues, 200 proofs, the Earth isn't a spinning ball. Research flat earth when you guys get home tonight. Type in 200 proofs the earth is not a spinning ball. It's never been measured we're spinning. Gravity is a hoax and a theory. It's about as much of a theory as mine. Rhinoceroses used to be unicorns. That's my theory. Say hi to the chat. Yep. Hey everybody. Hope everybody's doing well today. What up, Peanuts? Good to see ya. Helio, Fluffy, Loco Tomo. Plain sailing, Donald. Yeah, we're live. We're doing something a little different. We're getting more people involved. We got Wesley here as my camera guy. So we're already one up on the game. So I invite you to come down to Minneapolis in front of the Target Center for the next hour or so. And Knowledge scavenger, I know, right? Yeah, well, I share when I can. Salted Cedar, good to see ya. Frequencies, everybody just wanted to say hi. We're gonna continue with the, the stream here. You could probably do a better job than him. No problem. Just hanging out. How you doing? Hey, did you know that we don't live on a on a ball in outer space? Really? Like we've been talking we live on a globe, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you mind if we film you? Is it okay? Okay. okay. Yeah. Cool. And uh what if I was to tell you that the earth was a level motionless plane and it didn't spin and it was flat? I know, you're crazy. Uh, I know, right? Yeah, because it's the first thing that you hear, right? Yeah. But if if you were to like maybe go to the ocean, have you ever been to the ocean before? No. No. Okay, so there's no curvature on water. Water doesn't curve over a ball; it always stays level. Yeah. So I don't want to leave you hanging. I got a card, and I encourage you to go on YouTube and just check out some documentaries and kind of open your mind a little bit to the idea that we've been lied to. But don't we go into space to see that the world is round? Yeah, like, 
Like this? Yeah. Yeah. Can you see that? Yep. Yeah. So, let me ask you a question. Which is the proper interpretation of, Earth, of, of America? That one. That one well, I say it's this one. Why? Well, because America's bigger. Bigger than what? Bigger than that America. But it depends on how far, far away you are. So if these are the same size, these are the same size. So the distance doesn't matter. Okay, so think critically here, okay? This is bigger yeah. on Earth. This one's smaller on Earth. Okay, what if I was to lead you to the conclusion that these are just artist interpretations? These are not real pictures. You've never seen Earth from space with your own eyes. No. No. So these, you've never seen this before. This is not where you live. Where do I live? Possibly on something like this. Where are you getting all this from? Yeah, it's new science. Science is always changing, right? It should yeah. always continue to go with the times. And so there's been new evidence that has been revealed to us that water is always level and it doesn't curve around the ball and gravity is just really a theory. It's just buoyancy and density. So we were, we were all lied to, he was lied to. So just look it up, have an open mind. Yeah. I, I have an open mind. Sure. Terrific. <laughs> Alright, well. Hey. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you. Cool. <laughs> How you doing, fellas? You're at the flat, okay? On a ball. How you guys doing? Hey, when you get home tonight, research flat earth, alright? <laughs> Check out a documentary about flat earth tonight. How y'all doing? Or the internet. Have a good one, Classic North Stars. Right on, man. I haven't seen a North Star shirt in years. Wow. And we're talking the 70, back in the 70s. Classic green. Yep. Definitely 80s green, for sure. How are you folks doing today? Hey, good. Must be looking up flat earth information, huh? Uh, you should. Pretty sure it's round. Uh, pretty sure round like a pizza or a ball, sir. <laughs> Please use proper vernacular. How you guys doing? Good. Hey, do y'all believe we landed on the moon? Did you know that they used harnesses guess, guess what, to land on the moon? Ahead. It's physically impossible to travel 234,000 miles to the moon. Look up research flat Earth, okay? Take a picture of the last one under budget. <laughs> Great comment. <laughs> Take a picture of the last one. Hey, that looks like Neil deGrasse Tyson's dad. Yeah, right? <laughs> <Deal. laughs> How you guys doing? Good. Hey, terrific. I'm great, thanks. Yeah. Did it ever cross your mind that we live on a level motionless plane? So, I'm gonna bring some evidence. Some, some guilty parties, if you will. Which, which is the proper size of America? The proper size of America? Yeah, we got two pictures here. America's different on the same on each picture, right? 
Again, they're maybe. taken from the same distance. Okay. 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 So I say I say this one's right. Okay. Which one do you say is right? I who knows. Okay. I, I suppose that probably makes more sense. In my These are artist renditions, sir. These are not real pictures. You've never seen Earth from space. Really. 100%. That's shocked. It's a CGI. They even say it on NASA's oh, website. Go, composite. Oh, Check it out. Okay. Have a good one. Check it out. Never landed on the moon, sir, okay? Richard Nixon's a liar. Have a nice afternoon. Liar. Liar. Hope everybody's doing well. This is a new perspective that you got. We are an authentic intent. Hopefully we'll have some more some more opportunities. So oh, I thought I hit it. Oh. Yeah, go. hey guys. So we got a little break, a little bit of a break. Got our signage here. Here's what we're hanging out with. Got uh, tip off is about 15 minutes away. Or so. Entrance is right across the street there, ma'am. You sure thing. Helio, good to see you, DJ Black. Everybody. Globusters is probably on right now, isn't it? Probably. Yeah, so hopefully everybody can check out this uh, episode later tonight. Uh, we're in downtown Minneapolis there, Vision. We got about an hour. <laughs> and then they start. It's two. It's two. It was three o'clock. Yeah. yeah. Cause they go for like three hours and they go till like five. So But yeah, like, share and subscribe this, send some people over here back and forth. I know there's a lot going on today, it's Sunday, so hopefully everybody can get some action from everywhere online. Unlike Globusters, we're showing our faces, we're <laughs> out doing talking to the people, you know. Kind of liven it Sorry, up. Sorry, Bob. <laughs> Jaren. Hamming it up with the public. So there you go. Hey, Joy, good to see you. Yeah, we're right uh, by first app, so. You want to come by? How you guys doing? Good. Hey, when you go to school tomorrow, research flat earth, okay? Dinosaurs aren't real. Never landed on the moon and we live on a level most of the plane. Not a ball like the top. You've never seen this material back here. It's not real. Think about it. Think about it. How you guys doing? It's not too cold out. I mean, it's what, 35, 40 degrees? Something like that, yeah. Good refrigerator weather. So I was prepared. Probably go into the game uh, around three or so. So we still got about 45 minutes. Hang out as patrons come in and out. Next week we got 50s and 60s coming to town. Definitely got to do live shows on that. So I hope to go to the university campus next week. How's it going, man? Good. Good. Has it ever crossed your mind that we live on a flat earth and not a ball? No. No? Why would it, right? Right. Science, bro. Right? Yeah. So what if I was to tell you that water is always level and it doesn't curve around the ball because gravity is a theory? Just, you know. <laughs> kind of video. I'm sure you would laugh, but we were two before our investigation is the height of ignorance. So you believe for 12 years Santa Claus is real. What do you think about that? You know, it's funny, so that just crossed my mind the when Santa I mentioned Claus? Flat Earth. They start looking at a nine-year-old with your nine-year-old friends, right? And then your nine-year-old friend comes up to you and says, Hey, my parents just told me that Santa Claus isn't real. They're Santa Claus. What do you think all of his nine-year-old friends are going to do? Probably laugh at him. Right? 
probably that's the first thing that they'll do is laugh until they go home and say, hey, Confront. hey, Tommy said his parents are Santa Claus. You know, what's up with that? So something to think about. I'm going to feed Santa Claus to his reindeer this year. That's my goal. <laughs> How you guys doing today? Has it ever crossed your mind we live on a level, motionless plane and not a ball? Yeah. You've never seen this with your own physical eyes because it's an artist's rendition. It's not real. You know, walk until you fall off the edge. Who said there's an edge, man? There's no edge to outer space, right? You're so cool, man, with your glasses. Where's the sun? Uh, you got someone here who just gave you 10 bucks. Hey, appreciate it. Last name's Jones. China Jones. China Jones. That's Good to it. see you, China Jones. Thanks a lot for your support. That helps out for the parking. Sundays downtown Minneapolis, there is free parking on Sundays, but they meter these here in front during events. So <laughs> I tried to look for free parking, but I had to park in the, the lot for 10 bucks. So, you know, you do what you gotta do. That is, you gotta get that on camera. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> nice. You mind if we get you on camera with that? Kind of like a Tom Selleck thing yeah, going there. Right. Okay. Love that. How, how, how long did it take you to Tom get Tom Selleck would just roll. Five, 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 five years. Five years? Oh, wow. That is amazing. That's significantly more testosterone than I do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd encourage you to check this out since you checked me out. It's uh, my YouTube channel. Thanks, guys. Have a good afternoon. Enjoy the game. That was freaking amazing. I've never seen a mustache that big. You never know what you're going to get down somebody else. No, you don't. Definitely get some whoopers. He should be standing out here with our son. Yeah, if he was out here, everybody would be a flat People earth. People would stop. Man. Flat earth right on, man. See, that was a closet flat earther right there. Maybe. Never know. I got a, I'm live on YouTube right now, man. Yeah. Maybe check me out. I do this regularly here. Hey gentlemen, has it ever crossed your mind that we live on a level motion of plane and not a ball? Gravity is a theory. It's like my theory that rhinoceroses used to be unicorns. Okay, you can't fall off the edge because there is no edge. Yeah, that's buoyancy and density. Your keys weigh more than the air around it. That's simple, man. They tried to screw with your head. It's indoctrination. Fuck. I am, yep. Yeah. It's pretty cold out here, right? Yeah. Got a thing, yeah. Throw a cigarette at me, dude. That's cool. Yeah. Man, nice job. Yeah, it's on, it's on camera. <laughs> so wow. I insulted that guy's intelligence so much, he threw a cigarette at me. So, good for him. It's right there. Still smoking. Yep. I might smoke that later. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, you better uh, get it. He might have a... Someone gave you another 10 bucks. He might have hepatitis. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Not quite sure who that person is. Oh, Gord. Gord, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Because we're, our, the Earth is constantly moving. No, it's not. It's never been measured we're moving. I got a YouTube channel to show you that. Your YouTube channel disagrees with Sir Isaac Newton. Have you ever <laughs> met Sir Isaac Newton? Is no, he, I haven't. Is he your prophet? No. Yeah, sounds like you're in a religion, sir. Sounds like you have prophets like Sir Isaac Newton. A science religion. Science. 
you study science too much, you're gonna get blinded and fall off the edge, right? Right. Yeah. We're falling off anyway, but our president. Yeah, well, presidents are selected, sir, not elected. Yeah. Or by their way, by the top. Yeah, they're all Freemasons, sir. Wake up, please. By the top, boys, they Yeah, well, they're Freemasons. There's some kids that need to be woken up. Hey everybody, I'd love for you to consider that we live on a flat, motionless plane and not a ball like we're taught, please. You've been lied to. You were lied to for the first 12 years of your life about Santa Claus. What makes you think the government's not lying to you about more than that? Everybody left. You got a big pack of people coming. Just make sure you see, pay attention to children when you start talking about the Santa Claus. Bit. I'll get in defense mode. But you know, I even thought about that. They did an episode on, on Friends. And Joey says to Phoebe, well, you know, you know the whole thing about Santa Claus. Yeah. She's like, what? Well, then he doesn't exist. And she's like, oh, okay. And then the minute he walked away, she's like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, you never know what people are going to research when they get home. So, I mean, I know a lot of people might see this as being aggressive or nobody's going to listen to me. Nobody pays attention to the signage. But you never know what people go home and do minutes before they go to bed. You know, some people stay up for hours thinking. You got to so, get a new sign that's bright blue that says uh, the the Google Google uh, Google uh, flat Earth. Yeah, a blue sign with yellow writing. There you go. That would work. Something really bright. And sometimes we can't talk to everybody. Sometimes they just see the signage, you know? Yeah. So Just having it out there is better than nothing. Like right now? Yeah, exactly. There you go, Kyrie. Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving. I got this for you, bud. Maybe uh, I'm good, man. Get a YouTube channel. Well, you don't want to be informed. Uh, have an alternative view. Have you ever been on an airplane? Nope, nope, never been on an airplane, man. I don't even know what they what they are. I think they're gliders, from what I understand. That guy. Yeah. He's gonna have a rough morning. <laughs> share and subscribe everybody if this year your first time here welcome well it's been quite a long time since we've been here and they've been watching us ever since yeah. and we haven't seen anything come out and stop us Your first question should be, do you have an open mind? And let's just see what happens. Yeah. Flat Earth. Yes, sir. Yeah. You guys have flat Earth. Uh huh. Yep. Has it ever crossed your mind that we live on a level, motionless plane? I've done. I've done a little bit of research. Okay. Well, I actually got a YouTube That's good. channel. I'd love for you to check it out, man. Humor yourself a little bit, right? 
I like it. I don't know if I buy into it. Yeah, well, I didn't buy into... You bought into Santa Claus for 12 years of your life. Yeah. Think about that. If your parents will lie, do you believe your government don't? It is about the government, man. They want to control your mind. And they have it. That's why you're going to a basketball game. There you go. To spend money on people who... Overpaid actors. Basketball is probably the most fraudulent professional sport. And funny thing that, you know, with the whole all-star game and Jimmy Butler, he was supposed to play in that game. He decided not to because he had to guard James Harden five days later. That was his excuse. And coincidentally enough, in the second half, Jimmy Butler gets injured for the rest of the year. So if you watch that injury, what happened was he gets a rebound and he lands and then he tries to make a basketball move and everything's fine and then he steps away away from the players and he falls to the ground i think he threw the game personally i think he was told to sit down because i think he chose not to play in the all-star game and the establishment didn't like that because they wanted him to be out there and play that's just my opinion yeah but uh, they told him to take a dive. You're done for the rest of the year, man. You don't want, you don't play in the All Star. Everybody played in the All Star game except Jimmy Butler. Should be a requirement for you to play in that game. Take your money and walk away. Exactly. You know, play five minutes. You know, I mean, break a sweat and then be like, hey, you know what? But yeah, he didn't even do that. So I think they told him to take a dive. Very possible. It's just if you watch the replay of that injury, it just looks really suspicious. Yeah. Because he he ends up falling away from the player that they they say that he got injured from. So Jimmy Butler injury. So he's out for the year. Timberwolves are still in the playoff hunt. Huh? They'll be in the playoffs. So we'll be here in uh, in May for the playoffs. Yep. Well, you believe you're uh, in Santa Claus for 12 years, man. Ridicule before investigation is the height of ignorance. I don't know. Now they're trying to turn on them lights just as people come. <laughs> the minute you notice that when a group of people <laughs> yeah, come, know, right? that green light goes. Yeah. Yeah, they're watching us. The AI is on to us. <laughs> we got AI here trying to combat the AI up there. Yeah. How you doing, gentlemen? Good, good. Hey, the earth is flat, okay, bud? Not a ball. <laughs> I saved the dinosaur bit, I didn't say Santa Claus, so, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was a little young. Relax out there, folks. Yeah. Relax. What do we got coming here? The light is red. How you guys doing? Has it ever crossed your mind that we live on a level motion of plane? Yeah, we don't have a ball, okay, we should get Of course the light goes green. SpaceX Tesla car is being launched into outer space right now. And there it goes! And there it goes! The Matchbox car. If you're new to the game and you believe that there's a car in outer space, sorry not sorry, there isn't. You need to wake up. That's going to be my qualifying question for this group right here. 
whether or not they believe there's a car in outer space. If so, I'm going to walk away. Because <laughs> that's ridiculous. You got some lively ones coming now. How you guys doing? Good. Yeah. 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 How you guys doing? Yeah. Good to see you. What else? You guys believe there's a car in outer space right now? No. I don't believe that the Earth is flat. Well, you might want to research it, bud. Ridicule before investigation is the height of ignorance. <laughs> well, he said no. It's like we don't believe in that, but we do believe we live on a spinning ball. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Ever cross your mind? Dude, Yana did cross my mind. What's that? Sandy Hook and Florida was the setup. 100%, man. JFK set up 9 11 inside Calvary. 9 11 was a false flag because people might have actually died. Oh, and people definitely died. Yeah. And that's the sacrifice for them. I got a YouTube channel. I'd love to Dude, am I going to be on it? You are, yes, yeah. you're on it right yeah. now. Right. Live. Hope you guys don't mind. <laughs> yeah, my opinion about the those shootings is, uh, is they want to arm the public. I don't think that they're going to take our guns away. I just think that's going to be too difficult, because especially for Southerners and people up north. Oh yeah. I just don't think that's going to happen. And I think there will be a time, and maybe Flat Earth, this type of NASA fakery, telling us that there's an, a car in outer space right now. I mean, cars in Arizona lose their sighting in 120 degree One weather. Is on the cross. Outer First space. Avenue. When you're in front of the sun, First it's Avenue. 500 degrees. One sign is on the cross. Ah. First <laughs> Avenue. So, I, mean, I don't know. So what brings in interest Four. over here? Oh, Third. here he is. Walking. He's walking. 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 Okay. Right on. Yeah. You work Nine. for a target center? Or? Eight. Yeah. Seven. Yeah, okay. Six. Four. Five. Any, any Four. questions you got Three. or like curiosities? So, if there what? is flat, what's below us? And what's, like, what's on the ads? Did you know that... The furthest we've dug as human beings has been about eight or nine miles. So how do they know that the center of the Earth is 4,000 miles away? Well, it'd be like, if you, my guess would be, you take a distance here, you take a distance here. That's 8,000 miles. So, for example, this guy right here, between the top and the bottom is 8,000 miles. The center is 4,000. But we've only gone eight. It I mean, just think about it, right? But yet they show a section of the Earth <laughs> and show deep. each core. It's like, where do they come up with that? Yeah, it looks like a They've never song, been right? down that deep. Have you ever taken an astronomy class? Just yeah, those yeah. sonic things don't only go so far. They don't yeah. go that far. Yeah. It's like, yeah. come on. It's Sunday, right? And then they Genesis do the same one. thing. They do the same thing with planets, and it's like they've never been there. But yet they got all the information on it. It's kind of like your <coughs> Santa Claus thing. What are you saying about Genesis 1? Well, Genesis 1 is Sunday, right? So I'll give you a, a, a Bible verse. Here, He's, he separated the waters from the waters. Yep. Okay? So you got the water here on earth. Yep. What if there's water above us? Because he made a firmament above us. So a glass dome, you know, a wall above us. Huh. You know the Milky Way galaxy, the picture of the Milky Way galaxy? What if that's a rift in the dome where the water came down for the flood? <laughs> that's a theory. It's an idea. Yeah. So type in galaxy. So you're a Bible, you're a Bible guy? I'm born again Christian man. Jesus is the only way to God. Me too. Sure. Um, the Bible yeah. talks about a level motionless plane about 40 times in the Bible. It's a verse that talks about like our earth is a ball. A circle. Yeah. yeah. And so people would say like, that's the Bible talked about the earth being a circle before science even discovered it. But now you have to define circle and, and sphere. They knew what a sphere and a ball was, but they never say sphere or ball. They just say round. I mean, in, you know, pizza is round. A plate Isaiah, is round. It talks, he differentiates between circle. He says he has his feet on a footstool, right, in the circle of the earth. And later on in Isaiah, he talks about throwing a ball. So he does differentiate between the two objects. And so it's not something that I have to encourage people with, but when I do find another believer, 
I would like to, you know, just kind of encourage them. On my YouTube channel description section, on the way bottom, there's a really good article that explains the Bible verses to explain a, a mother. What do you guys think of Donald Trump? Um, he's a Freemason, yeah, so. most likely, because presidents are e a selected, not elected. Our votes don't count, and I, and I wish I could convey that in, a, in such a, a serious matter, because we have no choice. It's like the saying goes, if people had the power to vote, the governments wouldn't, wouldn't give them, they wouldn't have anything to vote for. So I don't think anything about politics, man. I mean, I, I think about them from, you know, standing in the back, that it's just like the young and the restless. It's not anything to be tied up in. Um, people say that I'm taking this too far, but we've been lied to where we're at, man. And there are no atheists on flat earth. In this community of people who have an understanding that the earth is a level motionless plane, on my YouTube channel, it's probably like, you know, at times, uh, on Friday when I was at the state capitol, there were a hundred people watching. All those people believe in a creator. Now, whether that's the biblical creator or not, they believe that there is a God. So when people who are atheists investigate the idea of a level motionless plane, they realize that it was created. That's where evolution and stuff goes in. And so your governments perpetuate a lie in school. And so if there were honest people in government... There's like a... So I actually go to a Christian school. <laughs> and in the biology there's department, a, there's a lot of people who believe uh, evolution was too far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not what I believe. No. But it's a popular belief in Christianity. Really? Yeah. Billy yeah. Graham, your team. Yep. Yeah. 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 And like, to, to me, when someone says that, cool. Yeah, I mean, does it, does it matter if yeah. you use evolution or not? But it's funny that they will say Darwin's theory is fact, but yet they still hold theory behind it. Yeah. And so, a theory really isn't a, a fact. Well, it's a, I gotta check out your YouTube yeah, channel. Yeah, man, I really hey, appreciate you guys coming Thanks for stopping, guys. Hanging out. Cool. Have a good one. So, good check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Give you something to do, right? Yeah. <laughs> Got a month to go, man, until it's warm. What school do you go to real quick? Northwestern St. Paul. Okay, I, I go to the U of M to do this sometimes, so check me out. Well, that was really a nice talk. Yeah, it was encouraging. Yeah. And what is he? He's probably barely 20. Yeah, probably, yeah. 20, 22, something like that. Yeah. You want to go into the chat for a bit? Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Touch the. Try it one more time. There we go. Hey. Well, I hope uh, everything's going well in the chat for you guys. That's right. We're out here just hauling ass, taking names. I'm all out of bubble gum, so got a lot of. Oh, we got the establishment driving by. They're, they don't care about me, though. No. just figured I'd put them on camera. But, yeah, I, I, it's, it's encouraging to be out here. You know, it's really not that, I mean, it's cold if I didn't have a hat on, you know, for sure. But it's really not that bad outside. It's, it's really that kind of weather where, where people don't mind standing outside for a couple of minutes and chatting. So, really appreciate you all in the chat room. All is one. China. Shout out, Flatman, PG, thanks for coming by, Sam, Flat Reflection, Goldfish Brain, <laughs> yeah, 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 it, it's a bit of an overcast, so, don't have any, don't have any snow yet, but, Zane, thanks for rapping, thanks for your freestyles, keeping the chat busy out there. Peanuts Clark, good to see you. Thanks a lot. Ask them one how fast they're fin spinning. I'll do that. You've been in this quarter, Helio. Played at first half, right on. Daniel Osher, Himawari, good to see everybody out there. 
We're gonna get back at it. Hey, Chris Jackson, thanks for coming by, man. Julie Nelson. So, probably got about 20 more minutes before I'll go inside. I wanna try, try to time it where I can uh, get in there a couple minutes before halftime and catch the halftime show. Hopefully they got something interesting for you all to watch. A little different uh, having a cameraman, huh? Yeah, it is. Yeah, <laughs> it's nice. How's it going, man? Yeah, See, I just got a question for you, real quick. Science question. Uh, we live on a spinning ball, right? In outer space. Okay. Do you happen to know how fast we're spinning right now? Uh, something like thousands of miles per hour. About a thousand and eighty. Yeah. Do you feel us spinning right now? Okay. What if uh, gravity was a theory and not real? Uh, Alright, well, here's, here's you to continue your thought, man. You want to continue to be living in a lie, sir? You gotta wake up, man. You don't live... Yeah, it does change. Why do you think I'm standing here? You like being lied to? Why is Santa Claus real, right? Why does it matter if Santa Claus is real or fake? Right? It matters because your parents lied to you. I blame you, Peanuts Clark. I had them and then I asked them that question. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. There's always an asshole here and there. Yeah, he just, he just wants to continue to live in that... Fantasy world. You know? Gave him an opportunity. You give somebody an opportunity just to check something out. And see, that was, he's different from the other two guys I talked to. Yeah, definitely. So his friends who work with him are open minded. Are open minded. They might say something to him because he might say something to them. There's my like, bus. <laughs> hey, tell your friend on the phone the earth is flat. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no. How you guys doing? Right. Hey, research flat Earth while the Timberwolves are blowing out, blowing <laughs> <rain>, okay? <coughs> so now he's talking to his friends about it. Yeah, of course he is. And then those three will say something Talk to the to two that else. we just talked to. There you go. And then they'll be like, hey, you know, check it out. You never There's know. Something up to this. How you doing? afternoon. You know, I'm wondering if we could kind of see if this guy would roll his window down and talk to you. Oh yeah, they usually do. Want to try it? First ask him if he's okay with being on camera. Oh, well. He's a public Busy flipping his uh, glasses around. He's just gonna leave. <laughs> to the earth, right? 
but you don't believe, you don't live on a ball in outer space. Outer space is not other. We never landed on the moon. We can't go to Mars. You know Star Trek and Star Wars? Those aren't real representations of outer space. Those are fake. Because we, we've never been to outer space, sir. Right? No, we haven't. We've been above. We, we have a couple, couple hundred miles, maybe, but not to the moon. No. Uh, we, we could probably go a hundred miles. Van yeah. Allen radiation belt. Yeah. There's no solar system, sir. Uh, just Earth. Yeah, it, it exists. It's that, though, sir. Yeah, it's, a, it's like a pizza. It's flat. It's flat. It's not a ball. What can I give you? Sure, yeah, I can I can show you right here, man. Do you have a computer? Yeah. Yeah, I got a DVD for you to watch video. Yeah, so lead you right to the direction you need to go. Have an open mind and stop trusting NASA. <laughs> sure, yeah. You know what NASA stands for, right? Yeah. Never a straight answer. Yeah, where are you from, man? Ethiopia? Appreciate you coming by, man. Drive safe out there. Thanks a lot. Yeah. <coughs> Guys from Ethiopia, appreciate his conversation. That's a flat earther. <laughs> He'll be a flat earther, this guy. Pulled right out in front of that guy. Yeah, he did. Science question, how fast are we spinning on Earth? No. Nope. Don't think he cares. No, nope, he Yeah, basketball to go see. Yeah. <laughs> what if I was to tell you that Earth is not a basketball? You blow well, my mind. It's probably more like a penny. <laughs> no, okay, okay, okay. No, I know. I got, I got <laughs> you to go to a basketball game to see. I don't I'm have time to. <laughs> I don't have time to argue with you. Don't argue. Just come by my YouTube channel and you can chat in the live chat room. You got it, buddy. All right, man. Take Thank you. Care. Enjoy the game. Yep. Have fun at the game, man. This guy is already lit. I don't think that was just monster drink in his can there. <laughs> I don't think just so. Just put it that way. <laughs> He's I was I, I was gonna say this guy before he even got to the corner. <laughs> I was gonna say this guy's gonna be belligerent. That was pretty cool though. Yeah. Hey, we're on sixty people in the room now. Hey everybody, thanks for coming by. Golden yeah. State, how you guys doing? Right. How you, right doing? you guys from California or just fans? Yeah, yeah. You are. Okay. Yeah. Hey, so you've been to the ocean then, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Have you seen the curve of Earth? <laughs> No, it's flat. It's serious flat. question. I mean, I'm yeah. being serious. No, it's, like, it's, it's a perfect flat. answer, man. Yeah, it is flat. Water's perfect. flat. Yeah. yeah, I can't tell. I don't know. I you mean, guys, do you guys mind gotta, being videotaped? I have. I have. I can say no. Go ahead. Lay it on us. Do you mind being videotaped? YouTube channel. We're, 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 we're live. Yeah, oh, we're live on YouTube. Now. Okay. What up, yo? You got a <laughs> shout out? You want a shout out to anybody in California? We got Californians in yeah, there. Yeah, we got California. Oh, Kevin, what's up? No. <laughs> So just, what you guys got going on? Yeah, I just got a quick question for you. What size in these two pictures is a proper representation of America? I think I think it's a lot bigger than that picture. Yeah. I think America is a lot bigger than that photograph, both of them. These are official NASA photos. Okay. Yeah. And so as you see, they're both the same size Earth, but America's two different sizes. Yeah. Right. These are admitted to be created on a computer. Interesting. So you've never seen Earth from outer space. No, nope, I've never been to outer space. <laughs> but but no. this is not a real representation of Earth either. So my point is, you don't know really where you live. 
Right. And it says on NASA's own site that those are composite GS, um, CGI. You want me, you want me to show you what, what, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. what the government uses as a map? This is the USGS map right here. That's the UN flag. Sure, the United Nations flag. That's a flat earth map. They tell you right in plain sight that you live on a level motionless plane, man. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. So, well, keep doing your thing. We got hey, game check it out, man. Yeah, check out the game, man. I hope to see you in there. I'll be in there in a little bit, actually. That was nice. <laughs> nice they talked to us. California, right there. California in the house. AE map, pissing everybody off. <laughs> Pissing everybody off. It's the only way that I can really bring it to a level where they understand. I can't do that Pac-Man map. It's just, yeah. I just can't do that Pac-Man map. That's too much for, for even me. Yeah. How y'all doing? Hey, right on. You guys going to the game? All right. See you in there. See you in there. Almost three o'clock, just letting you know what time it is. All right, so five or ten minutes, we'll give it. Yeah, it's slowed down big time. Yeah. Hey, you know what? There's my bus. Maybe I should jump on yeah. it. All right. There goes Wes. Wes is running. He's running to his, his bus. So... We're back, it's just me and you now. It's just me and you. Hope you're all doing well out there. I'm gonna uh, connect my battery for this short intermission, if you will. All right, so we're back. Rand got bombed, oh, that sucks. I know we did, uh, like what, six weeks ago or so? You're riding upside down, ah. Uh, how do you do that, right? Are you allowed to film inside the stadium? Well, not necessarily. We'll see how long I can eat. I, I don't even know if I can film live inside, period, because I don't know if the reception will stay on. Otherwise, I do have a memory card, and I'll, I'll, I'll just record it. You know, I'll just record my interactions. But I was able to film inside the wild game for over an hour. And the only reason why I got kicked out is because some, uh, a booth next to me narked on me because they thought I was like filming them on purpose. Like I could care less. China Jones, love you too. Thanks for came, coming out. Hope you have a nice hot coffee available. I could use some hot coffee right now with some chocolate in it for sure. We'll see what the prices are inside. <laughs> $10 for hot coffee, and it's like this little Dixie cup. Miss Richardson, good to see ya. No, I wasn't, I wasn't filming the casino people, Scott. The casino people next to me complained. Why don't you keep up, dude? Maybe if you interpreted the filming properly, 
and listened to the security guards, you would know why I had to leave. I was filming, yeah, inside the stadium, but the, the lottery people next door thought I was filming them, dude. So, well, you come in here and you act like you're a know-it-all, dude, and you know nothing. So, yeah, I'm going to regulate. How you guys doing? Hello, how are you? Hey, I'm terrific, thanks. Great. Has it ever crossed your mind that we don't live on a ball in outer space? No, never crossed my mind once. No. Just going to lift it up, you know? Yeah, like a flat earth. Yeah? For example, I got a YouTube channel. Awesome. I'd love for you to check it out. Cool, thanks. Yeah, enjoy the game. Thank you. I'll yeah. Good. Yep. Right, Run. Yeah, we had a, a cameraman earlier. Go to the power trailer, you will see the UN grid on it. <coughs> Gotta go for now, see you China. Ephesians, good to see ya. He took off and left this woman. I know, right? There's basketball to be played, man. Ain't got time for waiting for no women. How you guys doing? Good, how are you? I'm terrific, thanks. Alright, so... What I'm gonna do is start heading towards the entrance. See what time it is for the game. And then, uh, get my, uh, bearings right here. So we're gonna go inside, folks. <clears throat> Wonder if they'll have an issue with the selfie camera, though. The selfie stick. I'll have to put that in the pocket. So bear with me here. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. How you guys doing? Right? I know. Let's get to it. Hey, has it ever crossed your mind that uh, we're not spinning at a thousand miles an hour on a ball? Everything crosses my mind. Everything does. Okay. Well, I'd love for my YouTube channel to cross your mind. I got a card here. I'd love for you to check it out. Entertainment for tonight. It's better than Netflix. It's better than Netflix. He doesn't share. Oh, so we that's, have a card? that's really nice. <laughs> He's trying to get you to quit. Quit smoking, hon. Right? All right. See how long this lasts? <laughs> yeah, everything crosses your mind except quitting the smoking. Quitting the smoke. <clears throat> Alright, let me put you in my pocket here.
Ma'am, I gotta look in your bag. Oh, well, this can't Stop come right in. Up here, please, please. You need to, you need to throw it away or, or take it to your car. You cannot come in. Yeah, just throw it away now. Can I get that pepper spray? Yes, you can. Are you leaving? Yeah, he's yeah, going to go back to his back. car. Yeah, so tell it. an usher in a gray shirt that you have to go back to your car and they will scan out your ticket. Okay. And then you'll be able to come back. Okay. Back to my car. You coming back in? Yeah. Why do you need to go back? In? I got this pepper spray with me. Right. Yep. Thank you. Okay. All right. If you rely on the it's a TSA entrance. Got the uh, selfie stick as a weapon deal. I was trying to take my belt off. I thought it might I might be able to get away with my belt, but <clears throat> so I mean the pepper spray was eight bucks on Amazon. I was like, well, I'll deal with that, but then they wanted me to throw my selfie stick away too. And that's not going to happen. So, my car isn't too far, and I just got to walk up to the Skyway. So it's not too much. <laughs> All is one. Bring a gun next time and not the pepper spray. Wish I had a taser gun. That would be cool. So... And then I could just leave all my stuff in the car because I'm in the Skyway. So I don't need my hat. I can leave. And I can walk right into there. So. Because what I was going to do was just going to leave my jacket and everything on my seat. And walk around. Hey, you're still here. Yeah. <laughs> this will give me a opportunity to know how to get back to my car. Morgan, good to see you. Positively butt hurts in the house. Lee Krentz. Fuller. Tony, good to see you. Tony, well, I got to go back to my car and drop off my selfie stick and my pepper spray because they won't allow it. Because if they're going to pepper spray anybody, it's going to be them. If they're going to tase anybody, 
it's going to be them. So that's how they disarm you. Turn to the left, and there was a bar there. We would have started there, yeah. then came around. I don't know if you want to pay those prices. No, I made the mistake. Bucks. I went and got a sandwich and chips. I didn't look at how much. Sandwich, chips, and water cost me twenty bucks. Oh, no. <laughs> like, oh, we wanted four, didn't we? No, five. Oh, oh wait a minute. Four. Was it four? <laughs> four five Six guys total. Yeah, see ya. Yeah. Okay, there she is. My chariot awaits. Kimmy, good to see you. Gary Moore. So, if you want to go get a sandwich, go to the bathroom, get something to eat. Got a bit of a delay here. I got to go back to my car. So... So, I just figured we'd get rid of the jacket and everything since I gotta go back to my car. Anyways, at the end of the game, <clears throat> to get the selfie stick. So, so, I'll just leave my hat and everything. So, I feel a little bit more comfortable leaving my seat. <laughs> So we're walking back to the game. Thanks, Wes, for your help. Appreciate you. <clears throat> and then I'll probably leave sometime middle of the fourth quarter to go back to my car and get my stuff. So I can head back to the corner. Until then, we'll see how long we can stay inside.
Well, thanks for bearing with me, folks. Let's get ready to go inside here.